Welcome to UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank with Meg Comal, I'm Andrew Catalan. An 81-39 win for UConn over Marist. The freshmen combined to score 38 points, and Brianna Stewart with her first career double-double, 20 points, 10 boards, another impressive night, Meg. Yeah, you know, there's just such a maturity about her, and, and the focus uh, to just go out, and, and she can shoot threes, she... She offensive rebounds, she passes the ball, she's unselfish, she blocks shots, she does just a little bit of everything. And, you know, she hasn't even scratched the surface to how good she's going to be. You know, you're playing against a team that won't let you throw the ball in the post. And we talked a lot about how they're just going to pack it in. And, you know, we've got a ball fake in there, throw it on the perimeter, shoot it. And we were so reluctant to do that the first, you know, six or seven minutes of the game. Um, and then once we got the hang of it, once we understood what they were trying to do, then obviously we opened things up a little bit. But, you know, they're, they're a team that makes you make jump shots. You know, they're not going to give you a lot of free stuff in the lane. Um, you know, and they're a scrappy team. So, uh, you know, you, you got you to gotta adjust to the way the other team's playing. And Kalina Mosqueda-Lewis continues to be so consistent, averaging 17 points coming into this game. She had 15 tonight, three three-pointers. She's really showing off her game early in this season. It's been nice, you know, being able to start and come off and be an initial start, uh, spark for the team. Um, but I'm just trying to, you know, be more of a versatile player this year, play a lot of defense, you know, score when I can. But we have so many offensive threats this year that it's really more just, you know, do the intangible things. Every day in practice is a, is a fight for your minutes. It's a fight to, you know, get some type of playing time. Um, so you're always on the defense you always got to make sure that you're on top of your game every day she has such a i think a mental focus of wanting to do things other than just score she doesn't want to be known as a scorer she wants to be a great basketball player and and so that means getting involved defensively passing the ball setting good screens rebounding and to me she's been very impressive with how <clears throat> basically her game is so much better than last year has nothing to do with scoring you're not going to play great every night, you know. Uh, you, you, you sometimes you're at the mercy of the, what the other team wants to do and hold the ball and use up the whole shot clock. And uh, what you got to do is just make sure that every possession you have, you make the most of it. But overall, you know, we um, we beat a, a, a pretty solid team, um, you know, and we didn't play great, but we played good enough. Well, I mean, he always wants us to, to be at our best. And obviously this game, we could have done better, especially on the defensive end, just, just talking and getting through screens because Maris is a really good three-point shooting team. So, I mean, he's obviously going to have higher expectations for us. That'll do it for UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank. Don't forget, you can catch us after every game on SNY for exclusive online post game coverage. And don't forget to bookmark SNY.tv and SNYUConn.com. From Meg Como, I'm Andrew Catalan. We'll see you again soon.